our sense of community when you're free. Rolling through the mountains, rolling through the valley, rolling through paradise with me. Let's go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. Well, today is going to be very exciting because my guest lives in uh, Uganda. First time interviewing somebody from Uganda. Okay, he is a musician. He is also a manager at a singer songwriter. At singer songwriter, uh, his name Odam Odiambo Cliff. Welcome to the show, Odiambo. Welcome. Thank you. Pleasure. I'm very happy to be. Thank you very much. How are you, Nancy? Today. I'm good, thank you, and it's nice to have you on the show. You? So your your music. Nice to be with you today. I'm good, thank you. Yes. Yeah, so um, on your uh, bio, on um, sorry, on your profile for for Facebook, it says you're a musical activist with a heart for less privileged children and widows. So, sure. What does that mean exactly? Well, actually. Uh... I do music, you know, music is something which uh, is like a healing. Yes. Everyone loves music, you know, when you listen to the music, you know, when you have problems, you find that uh, it enters through your heart and uh, it can heal you, remove thoughts and so forth. So on the other side of the children and the widows, uh, that one actually follows up my story. When I was still a little boy, I lost my dad when I was still young and uh, I grew up with my mom. So in the camp, I saw a lot of things happening. Kids were really suffering, and the mom really struggled to see that she can bring us up. We know what six children have other siblings, the five of them. Right. So it was really so cumbersome, and such kind of life pained me so much. So I said, no, if I grow up, I don't want to see any kids suffer, and I don't want to see any, any widow struggle like my mom did. Yeah. Uh, good enough that I, uh, God gave me a talent that I, I should do the music. Say, through the music, it will be something good that I... Uh, Whatever I do and I get out of music, I should support the children who are less privileged and the mothers who are suffering, the widows. Right. So that's how the story comes about. So I started the music uh, when I was still young. But of course, uh, doing it uh, commercially, it was uh, in 2018. But of course, then definitely the corona broke in, so it affected everything. And uh, we kept waiting. Yes. So is there now, any other question you want to ask me? Yeah, I was gonna say, like you you have a name you use uh as a musician, it's uh Benzo um Benzaman. Yes, Benzaman. Yo, Benzaman is my stage name. So I, I'm under the crew which is called Sky Echoes that I created. I created a, a music crew called Sky Echoes, where I do sing with my brother, it's called Sweet Melon, the stage name. And then the other name is called uh Otieno Daedric. That's his other name. So we created a, a group called Sky Echoes while we do the music together. And then our cross me, myself, I'm called Benzaman. So that's the name I use as a, a musician. Very good. Uh, sure. Now, as a musician, do you travel all over Uganda performing? Yes, I do travel. I travel all over Uganda to do the performances. I do perform, I go to this place, maybe because we have different districts. We have Eastern Uganda, and then we have the Northern, Western, then Central Uganda. But uh, whenever there are shows, we keep moving from place to place, trying to get something small, you know, what it is. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So um, yes. your, your mom must be very proud of you. Definitely, of course, you know, as I told you, music is ailing. So even if I don't make too much money, but uh, uh, it makes you happy, do you understand? Yes, yes. So I do happen to have created, a, a, yes, I created a, an organization, CBO. Okay. I have a CBO organization called Children Future Molders Africa. Uh, that was in 2015, that's when I registered it uh, with the help of some of the friends, the online friends like uh, Almi, Sylvain, so they keep supporting something small like that. They made legal. Say through my music, I say, let the music build it up so that we can be able to help other people. You understand? Help yes. these children or help the, the mothers who are widows. Right. Very yes. nice. Yeah. Now, so uh, I do happen. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. 
I do happen to be even the representative of musicians. I'm a representative of musicians in Eastern Uganda, the Eastern part in the national umbrella of musicians of Uganda. Ah. Yes, I represent Eastern part of Uganda. Yes, as musicians. Yeah. the national umbrella called Uganda Musicians Association. Yes. You were yes. once, yeah, but before that, uh, you were a basketball player, correct? Yes, I did basketball. I played basketball, but uh, not, uh, not with NBA, no, but uh, I was playing just so I loved the, uh, following them up so much, so that's where I had it in my profile. But uh, I love that's the game, the sport I played so much. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Um, so now what is the name of the of the city you live in now? I live in Eastern Uganda. The city is called Soroti, Soroti mm -hmm. City. But our cap uh, the capital city is called Uganda. The yeah. capital city of uh, Uganda is called Kampala. Okay. Okay. The capital city of Uganda is called Kampala, but the city I live in is called Soroti. It's so one of the beautiful cities in Eastern Uganda. Okay. Is Soroti a large city? Yes. Is it a large city or a small city? It's a small city, uh, which are uh, which is having like 13 districts, but for it is the city which represents the 13 districts. Okay. Have you ever yes. um, gone out of the country to perform? Have you ever been, you know, have you ever gone to the United States? Uh, yes, I've been to Nairobi, but I've not from Like to do your music? No, I've never been, but it has always been my dream because I wanted Or to Canada? I've never been to the States, brother. Uh, I've always wished, and that's my dream because no, I want to be to Canada someday. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy because uh, I made some friends. Uh, there are some friends of mine uh, that I made from Canada. They are also musicians, the coachmen. Mm -hmm. Burb and Andy, so they've been following me up here. We became friends online, and uh, they wanted to listen to some of my songs that are uh, the big interest. So there's one of the songs Bob told me, no, why don't you listen to this song? They flew the CD all the way from Canada to Uganda. That I received, so I had to listen that I picked one song which was called The Facebook Lover. So I made it my version, the Ugandan fashion, and uh, uh, with the local instruments, then I put in more other words there to create that Facebook Lava, which is the song we can try to promote right now. Nice. It's called uh, the Facebook Lavas. Right, yeah. I think I think whether it's a, yes. musicians are, or in Canada or in the United States, they would be happy to work with you, I bet. Because that would add something different to their Definitely. music, right? Surely, uh, that's my pleasure to work with people across the world. Yeah. Uh, it has always been my dream, and I, it's my pleasure that uh, you're hosting me today here. And there, uh, I believe I'm making more friends, you know, mm -hmm. and it's really so. So uh, it's my pleasure that I can connect to very many more other artists all over the world so that, you know, music is a universal language, yes. which is listened to from, uh, from all over the world, you know. So yeah. even if you don't understand the language, it may be the rhythm, you feel it inside your heart, you say, things nice, you understand? I, so oh, yes. I use the music to communicate. Absolutely. Yes, Shelly. Yeah. Yes. Now you also, do you, yes. write, do you write your own songs? Yes, I do write my own songs. I write them. I write. I write uh, the songs, yes. Uh, have you put out any um, oh. music, music uh, songs on uh, like SoundCloud or... or, or uh, Spotify, Spotify. Do you have any songs on those locations? You know, this uh, specific one, you know, uh, the specific one of uh, the one of for, for, for uh, the coachman, the one called the Facebook Lover, that I changed it to Facebook Lover's so my version is mm -hmm. the one which is already on uh, on those platforms. The I Apple Music, as iTunes, uh, it's in uh, right. uh, Spotify, Amazon. Yes, YouTube. You can yeah. check it out there. You can find it and uh, love to enjoy it. You know, yeah. Or if you actually, or well, we, they had to post it. Uh, the coachman did it. Uh, post it or uh, like three three weeks back. But I'm really so happy that uh, a lot of people are getting to to listen to it and the views are going up and up. And it's uh, my pleasure. It makes me so happy. 
Yeah. Uh, because people are coming up and listening to the music and makes me happy and connecting to people. I'm now being hosted by you, so it's my pleasure. Okay. I'm connected with more people. They can be able to spread the music all over the world. Yeah, for sure. I yes. think so. I think that's a great idea. You know, this is one of the reasons why I do my show. I mean, I, I don't just interview musicians, but uh, if I can help somebody promote them, I'm, I'm really happy to do that, right? Because I agree yes. with you, music yes. music touches everybody. Uh, so yeah, definitely. without music, we'd have a pretty sad world. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. So music, so that's why I kept on emphasizing to see that I can use it so that I can pass communication all over the world, or I can read and see the situations all over the world, say, no, this is how it's supposed to be. This is a bad thing, it's a good thing. So it's really a very good, good thing. Music is very nice thing. It is very a, nice. Yes. So if you're stressed, you can sit down and say, no, I want to listen to this song. You get the <laughs> healing, you know? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, I tell everybody, like, I, I have a, a ringing in my ears, so I listen to music all night when I'm trying to sleep, you know, so I don't have to hear the ringing. I hear music instead, so it's very nice. <laughs> um, now, um, so do you have any shows coming up or anything you want to share that's coming up soon? Uh, well, I'm planning what I have got right now is uh, I'll need, uh, we need to do the promotion of this song. It's going to happen definitely like I think within uh, before the end of this month okay. I'm supposed to make the media tours go to the radio the radio different stations that I can promote these Facebook lovers someday you never know where I may be in Canada ah. moving a lot of us promoting the song <laughs> yeah for sure I say no I'm now in Canada so what's up I want to see Nancy I want to meet Nancy where is Nancy <laughs> yes you can come and just... do an interview in person <laughs> yes in person yeah, Actually, you know, remember the network? Yeah, the next the network yesterday was not allowing us to do it. Say, what's happening? I want to talk to Nancy and the network's trying to interrupt me. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't say no soon, soon can be tomorrow. And you know, yeah. eight o'clock. So I've been waiting. He said, I want to talk to you. Yes. <laughs> yes. I've got it done. So that's <laughs> really nice. But anyway, well, I'm gonna stop the interview there, uh, but just stay on camera, okay? Uh, to the audience, I just want to say yeah. thank you very much for listening to the show. Uh, and you've been listening to Odama, Od Odiama Cliff from Uganda. So it's really nice to be able to talk to somebody in a, a, right across the world from where we are. Um, check him out. Um, look him up. on He's on Facebook, so you can find him there. And uh, thank you for watching the show, everybody. Take care and peace out, everyone. A sense of community. Till the wax a place to be, a sense of community where you're free. Rolling through the mountains, rolling through the valley, rolling through paradise with me. It's multicultural, you're sure to see it all. Till the wax a place to be, you'll see. Come party in the park, go dancing after dark, chill a wax a place to be, you'll see.